When it comes to weight loss, does the amount of physical activity you're doing actually matter? This is referring to the concept known as energy flux. Having low activity and low caloric intake is referred to as a low energy flux, whereas having high energy intake and high energy expenditure through higher physical activity is considered a high energy flux. It appears that having a higher energy intake and physical activity can improve your resting metabolic rate, meaning the amount of calories that you burn simply at rest, as well as decrease hunger, whereas having a low energy intake and low energy expenditure predicts future body fat regain, as well as decreasing insulin sensitivity. In addition, we know that physical activity reduces the risk of all-cause mortality. We also see that higher physical activities improve resting metabolic rate and improve body composition at the same body weight, meaning they lead to more fat-free mass and less fat mass. Other benefits of simply eating more food during a weight loss phase is having the ability to consume more protein, more micronutrients, more fiber, having more freedom within the food choices you do make, and more variety, being able to consume more polyphenols and other bioactive compounds simply because you can eat more food, having better satiety, and having less sensations of being deprived during a weight loss phase. And once again, this higher physical activity will improve insulin sensitivity and decrease the risk of all-cause mortality, especially cardiovascular disease. So in the grand scheme of things, while you can get very good results with low physical activity levels and low energy intakes, but it does appear that if you have the choice to either increase your physical activity or decrease your food intake, the better option may be to increase your physical activity. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to your nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.